Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is uh, Queen of Wands and um, I hope you guys uh, got the heart chakra here. I hope you guys had a nice long weekend uh, and uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving for all of you who celebrate Thanksgiving. We celebrate it here in Canada and uh, I hope you had an okay long weekend. We just had a full moon in Aries October 13 yesterday and, and even today. So those are energies that affect different ways with everybody. There might be some friction, some sort of um, triggerings and uh, being impatient and many other aspects which trigger in a way in order for you to evolve and um, grow. Uh, spiritually, internally, uh, mature in a certain way that forces you to to tackle the problem, solve the problem, and progress to 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 where you your destination is supposed to be. You know. Okay, so I'm, I'm a shuffle already. I don't know why I keep shuffling more and more. Okay, let's see who are we dealing with here. Um, it's going to be a love reading for, for the next two weeks, okay? From October 15 to October 31st. All right, so who are we dealing with? Oh, boy. Hold on. We're dealing here. Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles. So we're dealing with someone that is very grounded, a person that, that has something tangible to offer. It can be a Taurus, somebody that maybe you have put the roots of, of the foundation of this, um, of, in this relationship, since we're talking about love and relationship. And you have like really put a lot of attention to this connection. So, and this person as well, this is like a new beginning. So this is in the beginning stages. You have put the foundation, the connection, but this connection has not become yet as, um, as an item. Okay, maybe this is something that you are working on, but together but not like physically together even though there are two hands here 10 like giving this connection tlc but but it's in the early stages so there's not a real partnership but is given love and attention let's put it this way and this person oh wow we got the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles so there's a really an attention to this connection to this um, relationship uh, from a place of heart and also um, really putting a lot of devotion and attention to it we got new beginnings here one one so this is like the 11 the, um, this is also means that when you see this person you're dealing with somebody that um, has awakened your senses in a way that you believe that you see the world from a different perspective you see this person like you really woke up the ones is the number powerful number of 11 of manifestations like the magician card one right um the one in number 11 11 usually is also the card of um of uh, what is it called gosh synchronicities <laughs> gosh sorry guys number of synchronicities so when you saw that person you feel like you have they touched you they touched your heart they touched something in you that that triggered you and it got your attention in ways that you know and vice versa vice versa you two, there's the destiny. This is the ace of, it's a new love. 
and it's saying that there's a this is destined with a with a rainbow part here. It shows like tendering. It's um, taking care of this uh, this connection together, holding. You see both of you holding this the the source of love here, even here, like taking care of this love with so much um, tenderness. Wow. Look at you guys. This is what we're dealing with. This is new beginnings. And I think with the full moon in Aries, Aries has the tendency to really aggressively uh, triggering things in order for things to evolve and to start a new cycle. Okay? So uh, whatever it is like frustration for you, that is actually pushing you towards going to the next level of the commitment, right? So to make you move so you really take the necessary steps to get what you want to get out of this connection. This is what these cards are saying. Definitely when this person saw you, they feel like, wow, we got the judgment card here. Number two, one and one, two. This is some messages. This is a... There is a declaration of love. There is necessity for something to be spoken. This is also a phone call. This is somebody that um, they need to face some truth. And they know they need to do that. And um, they're still in the early phases of elaborating something approaching. Maybe you have never gotten that true declaration of love. And these all are cards. They're saying that somebody feels like they need to make that declaration of love. Uh, this is a call of awakening. This is a call of, um, of speaking your mind, your truth, speaking your heart. Um, it's related a bit with the karmic element as well, the judgment card. Karma. Things will get triggered in ways that, because this is um, Gabriel, St. Gabriel's. St. Gabriel's will force you to see world, the world from the upside down, right? So with a judgment card, is like a new person is reborn, is the card of also of the death of the ego, right? Um, there's lots of that element of Pluto element in Scorpio or even a bit of a Saturn, right? Hardship in order, like karma, right? So things will get triggered in a way that people will see um, their, their wrongdoings onto others, right? They, they're, it, has the truth been spoken, right? Has it been spoken? No. So the, the temptation to uh, avoid the truth from uh, I, if I don't see you, if I don't touch you, if I don't feel you, I got nothing to say because this is not real, right? That's the, 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 the mentality. But when a judgment car, uh, card pops up, you cannot run away from it. It's your subconscious that it triggers you and it hurts you. You cannot pretend. You cannot just put yourself out there with your fancy band in your fancy microphone and pretend like, you know, I got a microphone and I'm singing my song and I'm like cool and, you know, I'm the rock star, right? You cannot pretend all that, like everything is fine. When you first, you got to put yourself out there and and you speak, speak what you got to say, whether that's wrong or right, you got to, you got to say something, my friend, you got to, you cannot hide from it forever. The judgment card is there that you it is there to remind you that how can you sleep at night? I don't know how you do it. I don't really know how you do it. I deal with these people um, all the time. I've had people trying to talk to, knocking on their doors, looking for some answers and some truth, and just just you know just open up. Just speak your mind, speak your truth, and you will be valued, appreciated, and respected for doing that. You know, the new beginning starts by where do you see yourself, your self-worth, your dignity. Forget about what the future will hold. Forget about how people will judge you. 
But your responsibility is to speak yourself or speak your mind, speak your heart, speak your thoughts, right? I don't know. I don't know how people do that. I don't know. I have, I deal with people to these days. After so many years, and I still see people acting and pretending with that, that big fat, fat, fat and fake smile in their face. And, you know, when you try to confront them, they won't talk to you and then they pretend like nothing happened. So there's a lot of uh, judgment card for this new beginning. That's what is in the early stages. It doesn't progress at all. That's another thing. Because somebody needs to go to the next level. And number two means decision, choices, but confrontations, but, you know, without expectations, but just, you know, transparency, transparency. How I see my, how I see the situation, how you see your situation, where we are at, what I got to do, what you got to do. But every, first of all, everybody got to take accountability for their own behavior and actions related with the two of you alone. Forget about everybody else, but you two alone. When somebody is expecting and is demanding uh, um, communication, right? Because this is a phone call, communication. This is like physical communication, speaking from the heart, that needs to happen. This is what this is saying. We got one, one here and two, one, one, 11, 11. So that, that's what it's saying that it's saying that it's the wake up call, it's the synchronicities are pushing these people in a place that they cannot pretend like they got it under control and they rule the, they rule the game. They, they don't rule it. They realize after time and years go by, they realize. We got the three of pentacles here. So this is three people. This is also recognition. It is like a teamwork. It's an effort working together. But this can be also three people. So, so there's a third person here with a judgment card working in the background. Helping this person out. Okay. There is a sense of expansion. There is a sense that somebody needs to get involved all the time. Yeah. So there's not like a par partnership with the three. I always it be um, it, it shows growth. Maybe that whether triggering comes with a third party, that's when you realize that, oh well, I gotta do something about it because this is really bothering me. Especially number three <laughs> it pops up a lot. So, you know, and this is saying that it has to be a number two, not a number three. There's always a number three around. Because they they either don't want to see you two together or it's because your love interest is keeping them around because they're scared of exposing themselves, speaking their truth to you. So they're lingering around with this person to keep you in um, some sort of um, uh, stagnation or pending or... Like you don't know what's going on and, you know, like insecure because they're not willing to express their heart, but they are not uh, willing to unleash you, right? Not willing to let you go. So they use people and pose fear on you by using third parties. Okay, this is what's happening right now. But that's a game that has been happening over and over again. Okay. And uh, that's something that you already know. So you just don't fall for that anymore. But um, yeah, that's uh, number three there. It's more like a learning lesson. 
we got a heart chakra. Somebody really need to speak from the heart. They've got some information here that, you know, need to come out. And they know that they cannot buy time anymore. Time is of essence right now. And then, uh, and sorry, gosh, sorry, guys. And they cannot uh, waste any more time. So what, what are they hiding? What are they hiding from you? Strength and seven of wands. You see, there's a sense of um, stubbornness here. There's a sense of pride, stubbornness, courage. They're hiding, they're hiding their courage. They're also the seven of wands is like they're determined, like like um they're stubborn, like they they, they don't wanna feel like they gotta explain you something in this connection. Well, like what they're hiding. They're hiding that uh they're weak. They don't have the willpower, but in the same time, there's that sense of pride that you're not going to be able to tame the lion. Yeah, you know, this is like standing your ground, but also the sense of stubbornness. You're not going to change my mind. You're not going to, uh, you know, I have my pride and my my ego and my, you see, remember, strength card is ruled by Leo. Leo is is ruled by planet of sun, uh, by, by the sun. And sun is all about ego. All right? So that's what they're hiding. They feel like if they approach you and they talk to you, they, um, it's like they got to give a lot of explanation to you and they don't feel like they owe that to you. Even though they know the truth is, judgment card in their subconscious, they know they owe that much to you. They owe that. They know. They want to somehow approach you, but they're not willing to forgive, to ask for forgiveness. They're not willing to apologize. Um, and the only reason they're not willing to do that because they feel like if they ask for all that, then they got to commit to something. But in the same time, they can let go of this love. Because this love is saying here, it's meant to be. Okay? And everybody can see that. Okay? This love is meant to be. The roots are there. The foundation is there. They know they got to make this offer of love. They know they got to express themselves. But it's not about making offer of love. It's about really... All the wrong things that have happened and they have done to you, they are not willing to uh, confront it. They cannot willing to confront their lies because there were a lot of lies and deception with a judgment card. But their pride, look at it. These both cards mean the same thing. What they're hiding. They're hiding their pride. They're hiding, they got their ego. They're saying that I'm not willing to to explain myself to you i have you have no rights to make me do so and that bothers them because if they do that then um, it's like they owe you something and they gotta stick around or maybe they're not really to to stick around like that because they say okay now you did me wrong but the other thing is, if they accept their mistakes, you find closure. And if you find closure, what happened? Your heart finally heals. Okay? Your heart finds... And when your heart heals, you find closure, you move on, you focus on yourself, you, you really, you know, it's a closed chapter. And they don't want that. So they keep you lingering like that by 
holding on to the idea that I've got nothing to say. Yeah, that's what these two cards say. Very stubborn card. They're faking it till they make it. The Son of Wands is putting, you have put them against the wall. And, and they're like, you know what? I'm going to pretend like nothing is happening. He is almost feel defeated here, with it, but he's standing strong. Because, you know, he wants to pretend like, you know, you're not taming the beast. I've done nothing wrong, he kept saying. He doesn't want to admit anything. Look, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about his ego, death of the ego. He's talking about that, um, like I said, I got nothing to say. You're not, not going to make me speak. Swords of communication. You're not going to make me speak. You're not going to make, I'm, I, you uh, have no rights to demand anything from me like that. All right. The Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords. It's about uh, giving you the silence treatment. It's about giving you the um, passive-aggressive behavior, right? Silence. So you cannot read their mind. There's no clarity. There's resistance. That's what it is. There's pride. There is this sense of um, stubbornness and determination that, you know, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my form of thinking and viewing things. And But this is saying this is a beautiful love. But in order for it to flourish, first you're going to remove the facade. you got to remove the mask. There's paranoia in this card. A sense of attacking. A paranoid person that feels that somebody, as soon as they drop their guards down, they're going to be attacked. That's what it is with this card. They feel that if they show uh, their, open their heart, a vulnerability, uh, it's going to backfire them or they're not going to get out, nothing out of it. People are going to hate them even more for, for everything they've done. But the more they linger, the more they hold on to this sense of pride, the worse it gets. The more, the more they prove that they really, you know, they're not willing to let go of that, that form of thinking. The ego and the pride, that's not how you get love. You got to meet me halfway, this card are saying, you know, you got to meet me halfway. The judgment card is, judgment card is communication from the heart, but equally, right? We both put the cards on the table, they express ourselves and, you know, what, where the problem is, let's talk. And if it's not going anywhere, that's still fine. You got to be okay with it, but really put the cards on the table like i mean it stop with the fakeness stop with the mask stop with the paranoia that's what it is we'll deal with a paranoid person here that has to be in control all the time you know if it's not in control then things are going to get really bad for them that this is going to get hurt this is a person that has been severely hurt in the past and f probably from a mother figure a, m a person that didn't give them enough love so they can feel self-love oh yeah okay they person that they they were very strictly fr uh, from a place of heart they were taught to be very confined, very limited in, 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 in related to the emotions. This is the fourth house of cancer, which ruled by the moon. So that's why I say we're dealing with a problem with a mother figure 
that really uh, was like a man kind of and told them to be very strict and tough and that's how a man is supposed to be and they, they that's how this person's heart got broken from, uh, from childhood because they were never allowed to be themselves or to feel so for them it's very hard to put themselves in that place when they can got to put their barriers down you know that's why they need to be in control in control of their feelings and unless their outcome is as their desired outcome they're not willing to invest or to express anything Let's talk about in expressing. I'm not saying invest, but to express, to open up. If it's not the desired outcome. There's also the tendency to be in control, to control other people's minds. Yes. Because um, they feel that that's how love is supposed to be. By feeling pain. Look, another eight here. We got eight, eight. And I think it's also related with the, with a strength card here. Strength card is ruled by number eight, I believe. Yes, because number 11 is justice card. And then we have um, the judgment card. So communication again here and communication here. Fast forward. Very quick coming in. So message will be delivered quickly. And um, time is of essence here. We got um, Jupiter in, in the Sagittarius here. So this is a very, uh, there's the, the, the triggering that will be imposed is related with this card here, which is about, you know, growth and expansion. It will help um, break uh, the barriers of the communication. So maybe there is something that finally they're going to feel like something needs to be spoken quickly, soon. They've been holding on to it for too long and just doesn't make any more sense. Eight. Eight is my number. It's funny. Every time I see this, it's like... My birthday is eight. Okay. So. There's somebody that going through some major. Major uh, soul. Reevaluation right now. They're trying to deny it and to hide it. But it's not working. They thought, you know, that the game can be played in a way that their way. But they're realizing that. Um. It's affecting them too. Not only the parties involved, because it affects you too. Of course, it affects you too. When there's no communication here, it affects everybody. Clarity. Despite of your circumstances, when it comes to you too, there needs to be face-to-face -face communication. Even if it's not face-to-face, -face, at least a letter. You know, these are long distance letters. Needs to happen. But with a strength card, there's either no willpower or there's a sense of weakness or or somebody doesn't want to... There's, there's a sense of ego deflation here. Somebody's ego is feeling bruised or ego deflation or they feel like they're going to lose their masculinity uh, if they're... If they make that approach, and that's uh, that's a big problem. There, and no wonder you're dealing with a queen of swords. She's sharp. She's intelligent. With the judgment card here, um, you're you're dealing with a woman that is very articulate, and not very not necessarily. Um, Uh, calculating she's very honest she's very straightforward she doesn't tolerate bs 
but that's the the fear the intimidation this person feels maybe when it comes to communication with her we're dealing with jupiter here which is in a sagittarius long distance communication also different languages language can be a barrier for some of you so that means that um, maybe because there's a different language spoken and somebody if by the time they process it in their brain and to deliver it in another language they maybe feel like they look dumb and slow. I don't know. That's another possibility here. But there is a, a sense of a indifferent and inferiority, if, especially when you're being confronted by the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of Gem Gemini element here and, and Libra. So she's a very balanced, mature woman. She looks for truth, right? Truth and transparency. She's the same woman that rules the justice card. So she has a heart. Definitely she has a heart. She has been, her heart has been pierced severely in the past, but doesn't mean that it made her cold. It made her use reason and logic for her life. She sees different aspects of the situation, looking just for some sort of a, uh, balance and transparency and honesty. And without, she looks for communication, like truth and communication, definitely. Like without that, she's saying we cannot, uh, nothing can go on. She's so mature that she can handle everything, but she values openness. She is the most humanitarian human being you can ever have. She has a big heart, but life had taught her to put emotions aside and be logic and reasonable in solving a problem. She's a master in, in solving uh, analytical problems, okay? Especially when it comes to life and use logic and common senses. That's all she's about. She, she uses common senses. There's a problem. Let's talk about it. And nothing cannot be fixed. Everything is possible, right? But um, when there is this uh, games, mind games here, it's because people are living fear. And uh, she demands that. She definitely demands that. But um, this guy that has like masculine energy, the son in Leo, he's all masculine working out. You know, he's an artist. He can be a band singer, anything, because that's how the sun is. He likes uh, uh, to be in front of the people's eyes, to have um, an audience. And probably with a Leo, they, they love to sing or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then the, this guy wants to be seen like, you know, he's the rock star. He doesn't want to be seen as weak, right? Especially 